There is nothing more southern or summer than sweet potato salad with bacon. Sweet potatoes are like smiles. Okay. <gasps> I didn't think that was necessary. Check your sweet taters. Yeah. You're welcome. No extra charge for that. It's piping hot. Piping hot. To each their own. No, no hard and fast rules here, y'all. I'm not about rules. And it's gonna be the perfect little summertime meal. Let's do this thing. Hey y'all and welcome back to the kitchen with Meredith. Um, I am super excited about what we are going to be doing today. This is another installment of my partnership with the North Carolina Sweet Potato Commission. And I've been challenged with coming up with some new ways of cooking and using sweet potatoes. This recipe is awesome. I tried it last week on our family and it was a hit. So I feel very comfortable sharing it with y'all. Uh, there is nothing more Southern or summer than potato salad. Am I right? Yes, potato salad. But have you ever had sweet potato, potato salad? I hadn't, and I was excited to give it a try. Sweet potato, potato salad, sweet potato salad. Let's just shorten that to sweet potato salad with bacon. Yes. Not beef, but bacon this time, y'all. All right, so that's what we're doing today. We're making sweet potato salad. It is delicious. You're gonna love it, and I hope you'll try it. So, let's do this thing. Oh, and before I forget, if you missed my first sweet potato video, you can find it here or at my website, thisfarmwife.com. That was sweet potato pie, and it's, it's a keeper. If you've never made or had sweet potato pie, you just haven't lived and that's all I really have to say about that. Anywho, um, yeah, so back to sweet potato salad. Y'all, these are the stars of the show. Isn't this pretty? Yes, it's gonna be pretty in our bellies too. Okay, uh, we're gonna use a green onion, fresh parsley, if you can get your hands on it. I had to go to the grocery store for this. I actually have some growing out there but my husband thought they were weeds and he sprayed them. So we had to start again. Anywho, that's a story for a different day. We're gonna also use honey, stone ground mustard, or uh, you, can use, you can use other mustard, but I tried it with this and it was really good. So that, mayonnaise, I always use Dukes. That's also a Southern thing. A little bit of lemon juice, salt, pepper, two boiled eggs, and four to five strips of bacon. We're gonna cook those. We're gonna boil our taters and we're gonna put this together. Easy peasy, mac and easy. Okay, first things first, you're gonna want to peel your sweet potatoes. I don't know why that's my favorite thing to do. Um, sweet potatoes are like smiles. Okay, um, I'm gonna cook, for this recipe you want two to three pounds of sweet potatoes. I've got six kind of medium sweet potatoes. So that's what we're going with. And you're gonna wanna peel them peel them and then we're gonna dice them up. We're gonna parboil them. We're gonna boil them for about six minutes. We want them to be fork tender, but not mushy. Nobody likes mushy potato salad. Okay. All right, this little thing, I don't even know where I got it. Look, the name's even rubbed off. I think it's one of those OXO, OXO, however you say that. Um, it's my favorite thing, I use it for everything. So we're just gonna peel them takes no time. I didn't even wash them. I'm just peeling them. I guess I could have washed them, but we're just going to throw that away. So <laughs> I didn't think that was necessary. Okay. And now we're going to cut the ends off and then we're going to cut them into little one inch cubes. Whoops, just kidding. Now we can thin 
finish. Sweet potatoes can be a booger to cut because they're so hard. What I do is slice it in two, slice it in two again, and then go from there like this. See, it's not too hard. Okay, now that I have them all cut up, I'm actually gonna run some water over them in my colander, just in case there's any little pieces of peeling or dirt or whatever on them. And then we're gonna put them in boiling water and cook our bacon and get mixing. Shake, 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 shake. Shake your sweet taters. Yeah, you're welcome. No extra charge for that. Okay, I already had this water boiling, so it's not gonna take it long to come back to a boil. I'm gonna let them boil for six minutes. Timer, because I forget things. Um, and we'll check them then. And I've got the oven heated to 400. I like to cook my bacon in the oven. It's less messy to me. I put it on some foil. I got five strips of bacon there. And we will just watch that until it gets done. It should take about the same amount of time, so. This is what we call multitasking. It is a skill that I have honed very well over the past several years. Yeah. All right. Now, while that's cooking, we will whip up our dressing. Okay, for the dressing, we're gonna want a half a cup of mayonnaise, which is like two big blobs, okay? <laughs> that is very incorrect but anyway maybe a little bit more all right two tablespoons of mustard like so one tablespoon of honey this is the real deal and it's getting it's getting to the end of the line i could have warmed it a little bit and it would come out faster but anywho here we are here we go put that in there shake up our lemon juice i'm going to do one tablespoon of lemon juice okay then we'll just stir that up i'm going to chop up the onion and the parsley we're going to add all that when we add this but first we got to get the bacon out of the oven okay I hear you, six minutes is up. The bacon is still cooking. Let's test these bad boys though. It's piping hot, piping hot. But I think it's just right. Fork went in it pretty easy. Yeah, I think that is just right sweet potato salad consistency. So I'm gonna turn them off. I'm gonna put them back in the colander sweet potato out of my teeth and let them cool while the bacon finishes and then we're going to mix it all up. Also, this is available in my shop. Shout out. Okay. Uh, here we go. I think that is just about done. I'm going to let it get a little bit more crispy. Just a little. Like a minute, a minute more. I actually have a bacon makes everything better towel in my store as well. That would be a little more fitting today, but that's not what I have on my stove right now, so. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna let it sit here and drain. Let me flip it over. Let it drain and cool. Cut up the parsley and the onion and then I'll chop this up and we're done. I mean, almost. All right, I'm just gonna take about this much, however this much is, and I'm gonna chop it up. You can use however much you like. If you really like parsley, add more. If you don't like parsley, add less. Or don't add it at all, but I think it gives it a good flavor. So, to each their own. No, no hard and fast rules here, y'all. I'm not about rules. I'm about cooking with what you got, making do, and using what you like. I like parsley. Oh, 
Look at there, my husband's back from planting corn. I wonder if he's all the way done. So typically we wouldn't be planting corn mid, I mean late June, almost July, but we lost a bunch of corn to flooding and we just cut some barley last week. So we're replanting some corn over where we had the barley and hoping, hoping it makes a silage crop. Yeah, that whole saying about knee high by the 4th of July, our corn's not gonna be knee high. It's probably just gonna be poking its little head out. Anyway, I digress. Here we are, gotta get low. Um, Because I did not, because I'm lazy, sometimes, or I just try to work smarter, not, I mean, yeah, smarter, not harder. I, um, I put the parsley and the onion in the dressing bowl, uh, so I didn't have to dirty up another, what do you call that, cutting board for the bacon. It's all going to the same place anyway, y'all. Doesn't matter. All right, I'm gonna cut this up, and we are so close. We're so close to having Amazing, awesome, delicious, sweet potato and bacon salad. I mean, honestly, bacon does make everything better. You you just have to believe me. I mean, you probably already know that, but if you didn't know that, you know it now. Just like butter. This dish doesn't have any butter in it, which is very odd for me. Anyway, we'll let that go. Okay, we're good. Now, now we're gonna mix it all up and we're gonna have sweet potato salad. Okay, these bad boys have been draining. I love doing that. I love putting the colander back over the pot. I don't know why, but I do. So anyway, they've been draining. We're just gonna dump, 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 dump. And I'm gonna dump the rest, but I need my other hand. Hold on. Okay, I'm gonna put our dressing and our parsley, and our onion, mm -hmm. and our eggs, just two boiled eggs, chopped up, and our bacon. I mean, it looks good just like that, doesn't it? I think so. And we're just gonna toss. And there you have it, y'all. Sweet potato salad. Y'all, I got carried away. I forgot salt and pepper. You're going to want to put a little salt and pepper. Or a lot. If you're like me. Okay. Now we have sweet potato salad. And if you know me at all, you know I have to taste what I cook. Typically while I'm cooking. But I waited today. Um, so I made myself a little sample bowl. And we're going to see what we've got here. My dog is, my dog wants some. You can't have any, Bonnie. Mmm, y'all. This is so good. Okay. I will wait and eat all of this when I stop recording. But you're definitely going to want this. Um, it is very good warm. But to me, it's even better cold. So, this is going in the fridge. We are going to have it along with some grilled burgers tonight. And it's going to be the perfect little summertime meal. Y'all gotta try this. Please try this. I promise you're gonna love it too. Cheers.